What do you guys think? These are Oracle lights on a Detroit Lions car, actually. Corey. Corey something or other. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't watch football. So, Lions fans may hate me for that one. But, yeah. Um, so, that's a thing. Hey, Tinternet. Welcome to another episode of Tin Stuff. I, of course, am Matt, and today I got a question from H2Olga1, and he's wondering how to get behind third brake lights that don't touch the back window. Now, there's not a lot of space in between the third brake light and the back window, um, so there is some room to actually tint behind some of them. And um, I do have a 2012 Malibu in the shop. Actually, I think it's a 2010. Um, but they're very, very similar. They didn't change the Malibu much. I'm not sure on the brand new ones. I haven't tinted one. But um, those Malibus uh, have a brake light that doesn't pull out of the car. Ones like the Fusions, you can take out. Ones like Malibus, you can actually tint behind. Um, but there are some that press up right against the glass. And those, you would need to remove the full deck lid, in my opinion. Or try and cut around. Now. Um, if it's fine with a customer, just cut around them. Um, if you can't really sneak the film behind it even a little bit, um, then remove the whole deck lid. But tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, that's just my opinion. I know there's other tinners that watch this too. So if you have a tip or a trick, post it down below or make a video and send it to me. Alright, so I'm going to use a couple main tools and that would be these two right here. Not the pen. Forget the pen. Uh, this is a bulldozer, and this is a white with black. You can buy both on 44tools.com. Alright, so I have my back glass in place, and as you can see, I still got a lot of water bubbles um, at the bottom along with the air. And that's obviously the hardest to get out, and that's the whole reason you have this problem. So what you want to do is you can take a black and a white and go across the whole thing. And you'll push a good majority out of it pretty easily. But also for that third brake light, it's the black with white doesn't quite press down hard enough on it. So I'll try and show you this as best I can. So this is the bulldozer. Now what I'm going to do is press down, slide it, and just loosen the bulldozer back up. Let's see. So press it down, let it go. Press it down, let it go. Flex it against the back window. Press it down. And that should get rid of all my air bubbles. Go over it one more time to make sure that bottom edge is pressed down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna squidgy out the whole back window one more time just to make sure everything's out. All right, so I'm gonna take this bulldozer, press it against the back window, press really hard, and then loosen up the bulldozer, flex it, and then let it go. And that way you're not trailing any air bubbles out of it when you pull it back. Because if you just press it, flex it, and pull it back, you'll pull the film right out of the bottom of the window. I'll screw everything up. Because I've done it before. We'll sweep again. With the black with white. And now if I go on the outside, clean off my back window, check it, we should have a pretty bubble-free back window. All right, so I finished the back window. I squeegeed the whole thing off. And there's just a couple little bubbles down there, right at the bottom corner, with the third brake light. It's completely clean. So is the rest of the back window, for that matter. So I'm gonna take a conquistador and actually use that in my bottom corner. Take out those last few bubbles. There you go. As you can see, clean third brake light, clean back glass. Pretty simple, didn't take me real longer than any other window. 